I'm looking for someone who's ready to learn diagrams. There you are. Yeah, I know. You hate it. I'm trying my best to make it fun. <sighs> Here we go. Tonto won the race. I'm going to start with the subject and verb like I always do. Tonto won the race. Am, is, are, was, were, be, being, been. Have, has, had, to, does, did, shall, will, should, would, may, might, must, can, could, taste, feel, smell, sound, look, appear, become, seem, grow, remain, stay. I don't see any of those words. So now I've got to look for something I can do. One, it's an action verb. Now, for the subject, who won? Tonto did. Subject, it's a noun. Right now, you're probably thinking, who in the world is Tonto? Tonto was the sidekick of the Lone Ranger. Here you see his name in the next sentence. The Lone Ranger was a superhero cowboy kind of guy before real superheroes happened. Ask your parents. They know. I didn't, I've never seen it. Tonto won what? He won the race. Race is the direct object. It answers who or what after the action verb. Now I need to diagram it. Always I'm going to start with the T. Tonto is my subject. One is the verb. The direct object is diagrammed on the same straight line, except this one came all the way through. This one does not. The direct object goes there. Race. And the comes right here. Tonto won the race. Remember, there's no punctuation in a sentence. Okay, let's do this one next. It says, the Lone Ranger is a hero. Technically, I guess it would be was a hero. I don't know. Maybe you can still see it on Roku or Hulu or something. Again, I'm going to find the verb. Am, is. Oh, there it is. Is. It's on the list, so it's a linking verb. Who is? Lone Ranger. They're both capitalized, so it's a proper noun. Lone Ranger is the subject. Lone Ranger is what? Hero. That's right. This one is the predicate nominative because it renames the subject. I can change this to equals. Lone Ranger equals hero. That tells me that it renames it and that's how I'm going to diagram it. The diagram it. The diagram it. The diagram looks like this, again with the T. Lone Ranger, pretend I wrote that out, is this time it's going to be a slanted line and the word hero. The goes here. Uh goes here. Oh, that's a uh. Uh goes there. Let me check the book to be sure I got it right. Look at me. I'm so smart. This is on page 284 in your book if you want to read along with me. Okay, the Lone Ranger taught a, the rustler a lesson. Apparently, it was one of them <laughs> kind of superhero Western things. I don't know. I'm looking for the verb. I don't see any on the list, so I'm looking for something I can do. Taught is my action verb. Action verb. Now, I'm asking who taught. It's the Lone Range. Pretend that had an R there. The Lone Ranger <laughs> is the subject. The lone, the, lone, the lone Ranger taught what? He taught the lesson. Lesson is the direct object. Now I ask, to whom? The answer is the rustler. Let me switch colors so it stands out a little bit. We'll use pink. It's the indirect object. Some of us struggled with this last week, so I want to be sure you got it. Subject and verb, who or what, is the direct object. To whom is the indirect object. He didn't talk. Well, I guess he did. Anyway. Let's diagram it. It looks like this. Always start with the T. Lone Ranger goes there. Taught goes here. Taught. He taught what? Your direct object. Just like over here. It's going to go on that line. He taught the lesson. What kind of lesson? A lesson. What Lone Ranger? The. Now, the indirect object is always going to be diagrammed like a prepositional phrase with no, prepos no preposition. So it's going to come off the verb. It's got a little tail and a straight line. Rustler goes there. 
uh, goes there because there is kind of an imaginary two there. He taught the lesson to the wrestler. The not a. Uh. Oh, it's a it's a the. That's why Catherine makes a great Tonto. Good job, Tonto. Tonto is loyal. Catherine is loyal. So here I go. I'm finding the subject and verb. Verbs are in blue. Is. It's a linking verb. I know it's a verb because it's on that list. Let's say it again. Am, is, are, was, were. Be, being, been. Have, has, had. Do, does, did. Shall, will, should, would, may, might, must, can, could. Taste, feel, smell, sound, look, appear, become, seem. Grow, remain, stay. If it's on that list, 98 times out of 100, it's going to be the verb. There's always that weird one that, you know. Who is? In this case, Tonto is. Tonto is your subject. Now, I need a different color. I think I'm using purple this time. Tonto is what? Loyal. This word describes Tonto. He's the loyal Tonto. So it's going to be a predicate adjective. Ew, that's not very pretty. Oh, well. It is a predicate adjective because I can put it here, loyal. It is diagrammed just like the predicate nominative, I think. I'll double yep. check in a minute, but I'm pretty sure. You know, I am a published author. Shut up. Tonto is, <laughs> Tonto is what? Tonto is loyal. So, let me double check with the book because, you know, the book always makes sense. All right. So, guys, you're going to be diagramming for the next three days. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's You can watch this video as many times as you need. It's also on your in your book on page 284. You're going to diagram think A, think B, and then think C. That's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're taking it really slow with your diagrams this week because it's complicated. If you don't know the parts of speech, you don't know the diagram forms, you struggle with it, please let me know. We've got plenty of time for you to learn it this week. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.